in the uh, electronics aisle. So pretty much what I'm working on now is a remote control lawnmower. Biggest part about our artists in the asylum is the networking part because if you're stuck on a task, for example, in my situation, I need to know how to weld. So I can go down, down the aisle and find someone who's really good at welding and they can teach me a skill and I can teach them a skill. Uh, my name is Sarah Dudek and I run a design business out of the Artisans Asylum, concentrating on painted designs and screen printed home decor. Um, it's incredible to have a facility where you can um, work in different shops. You can use the wood shop or the metal shop. Yeah, so I teach screen printing here at Artisans Asylum um, and it's incredible because I think it's impossible to teach curriculum and not get better at that curriculum yourself. Sure, my name is Ross Ozer and I am a, uh, an artisan who specializes in digital fabrication and hand craftsmanship uh, to build candle lanterns and lamps. I couldn't have a business if it were not for Artisans Asylum. Part of the goal and what we're looking to do as is, is an organization is to inspire uh, all ages, but particularly in younger people, this notion of lifelong learning. Hey there everybody, my name is Lars Torres and I serve as the Executive Director here at Artisans Asylum. So my job day to day is to write the budgets, help make sure that operations are going, keep people like Michael out of trouble. It was really um, quite an honor to, to, to be invited to serve as a director here and help this organization transition from um, what I would characterize as a very thriving membership driven organization to one that has a blueprint for sustainability in the future. You know, 40,000 square feet of studio space, of creative community, access to shops, and most important, uh, an intellectual community that can help you solve pretty much any problem. Um, you can come here, you can get trained up on our tools, and you can build almost anything. And if you can't build it, ask someone here, one of our 400 members, and they will help you figure out how to build that. Arsons Asylum offers about 30 classes a month. Those classes are taught by experts in their field. Those classes include certifications, how to use a tool, uh, as well as sort of master classes in, um, in processes. My name is Ariel Matisse, and I am the metal shop lead, as well as making art and wire sculpture. And anytime I need help with something, there's always someone I can ask, somebody who has an idea, someone who has experience doing what I'm trying to figure out. I was pretty new to the area and I was looking for a studio space and I had checked out a couple other um, artist studio spaces that would have been a bigger space but um, kind of stumbled in here and fell in love with the place. Hi, I'm Rad Max, and I'm a Skull pilot here in the Artisans Asylum. Skull um, is a is a bicycle riding group, but we call our bike ships. We, these are spaceships, and we fly through hyperspace with them every Saturday night. Anyone can join Skull. In fact, if you're watching this video and you're like, hmm, I don't know what to do on Saturday in between April and Halloween, you should come to Artisans at like six, and then you can come on a mission. If you dream it, you can make it. Come to Artisan Asylum here in Somerville.